Cargo racks for bikes have been around for a long time and have allowed commuters and bike tours to mount bags and panniers and, well, pretty much anything to their bikes, thus increasing their utility and carrying capacity. In this video, we'll get a close look at the brand new Divide cargo rack from the company Old Man Mountain, and we'll see what makes this beast of a rack stand out from the competition. And if you want to win a complete divide rack system for your specific bike, be sure to stick around till later in the video and I'll explain how the giveaway works. Now over the years, the design of the quintessential over the wheel bike rack hasn't really changed much, generally mounting at two points on the rear seat stays and two more near the seat post. Or if mounted on the front, it would mount somewhere near the front axle as well as near the fork crown. Now using these types of racks generally requires a frame or fork to have built-in eyelets for the rack to mount to. And if not, then you could use a metal strap around the frame tubes, which isn't ideal for the primary load bearing mount down near the bottom, and in theory it could reduce the carrying capacity of the rack. But that's the basic bike rack in a nutshell. Now there have been some variations on this design, but for the most part it's been this way for decades. Functional, utilitarian, and not really optimized in any way. Until recently, that is. Now the ultra strong, ultra versatile Divide Cargo Rack from the company Old Man Mountain takes the design of the traditional bike rack to the next level. Now born from a need for an adaptable platform to haul heavy duty touring gear, it's beefy, it's well designed, and what's really unique about this system and what really sets it apart from the others is the ability to mount it not only to traditional eyelets, but also to quick release skewers and even directly to custom through axles, providing an unparalleled parallel level of security and stability at the lower mounting point. Now these custom through axles are of course supplied by their sister company, the Robert Axel Project, which if you didn't already know is the through axle authority. They manufacture precision through axles for, and this is the last I heard, over 6,000 different bikes, and they really dominate the through axle market with their impressive interactive online axle finder tool. Now the rack itself features massive half inch alloy tubing for strength on the main frame and uses 3 8 alloy tubing on the top rails to fit any panniers you have. It's made in the USA and the whole thing is powder coated matte black for a durable finish. The top deck is flush across the top which is really nice and it features mounting holes for lights and reflectors as well as linear slots for freedom to tie stuff down as required. Now the smartly designed low pannier rail makes taking panniers on and off easier when there's other stuff tied to the top deck. And this also lowers the overall center of gravity, which makes riding a bit easier when the panniers are fully loaded up. Now in its bare form, the rack readily mounts to a frame with built-in eyelets, but for those without eyelets, or for those who prefer maximum security and strength, optional fit kits are available to mount the rack directly to your quick release or your through axle, and it bumps up the carrying capacity from 55 pounds to an incredible 70 pounds, which at that point you'd better be geared pretty low or have a massive FTP. Now, of course, the theme of this rack is versatility, which means that a single rack can be mounted to the front or the rear of virtually any road bike or gravel bike and any mountain bike from rigid to fully suspended. So the way it works is that you get the basic divide rack, which comes in two widths, one for all tire widths less than three inches and one for anything wider, like a fat bike. Then you choose your fit kit, which is comprised of a custom through axle for your specific bike as well as a pair of machined brackets that they call dropouts, along with a seat post collar and stabilizing brackets called extenders. All the mounting hardware is stainless steel and it's all included for your specific application as well. So there's no additional hardware you need to get the rack installed. Now, if all this sounds complicated to get all the right supporting parts for your rack, Fear not, the kit finder on the website is just as extensive and user friendly as the axle finder tool and takes all the guesswork out of getting the right rack system for your bike. Just put in your information and you've got the exact kit that you need. Now a typical installation will look like this and while there are several parts to assemble, it's actually pretty straightforward and logical once you see how it all goes together. Now the first thing to do is to replace your stock through axle with the custom extended through axle included in your fit kit. The rack itself is then supported at the bottom by the dropouts, which are securely attached to the extended through axle mounting points. Now this is really what gives the rack system its strength and stability as it's directly tied to the axle itself. Then the rack's rotational degree of freedom is constrained by the extenders, which fix the rack to either a stabilizing collar mounted on the seat post, urethane pucks which provide mounting points on the seat stays, or of course existing eyelets in the frame. Now even though there's not a ton of rotational applied torque while under normal use, the alloy extenders are still extremely well built and beefier than any similar stabilizer on the market. 
Now in this form, this is just a super solid way to mount the rack to the bike and it eliminates the need for welded eyelets on your frame. So it's more versatile than other options in that regard as well. Now another really nice thing about this system is that you invest in the rack once and then you can get additional fit kits to mount it to different bikes or different locations on the same bike. For instance, the front fit kit, which is similar to the rear, includes, again, a custom through axle, a set of dropouts, as well as a set of appropriately sized extenders, but also includes these urethane pucks, which mount to the fork legs and provide an upper mounting point for the rack as well. Again, it's everything you need to attach the rack to the front end of the bike, and identifying the proper fit kit for the front follows the same process as the rear. Oh, and before I forget, I should mention that Old Man Mountain sent this rack system over for review, but all thoughts and opinions are my own. And there's also a good time to mention the giveaway that we're offering. So if you want to win a full divide rack system, including the fit kit for your particular bike, then all you have to do is subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button down below. Then tell us how you would use the rack in your own personal life down in the comments section. And finally, head over to Instagram and give Old Man Mountain a follow. The deadline to enter is 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday, September 29th, 2021, so be sure to get your entry in by then. The winner will be selected and notified at the end of the submission period. Now, admittedly when browsing the Old Man Mountain website, I have to say that I'm a little bit intimidated by the photos of trans-Icelandic bike touring trips, hardcore bike rafting, and chainsaw-wielding trail smiths. Basically, in a moment of self-reflection, I'm left asking myself, what business do I have as a nerdy, extra average cyclist assessing the performance of a premium, heavy duty bike rack like this? Well, while I can't say that I've tested the Old Man Mountain Divide Rack to its physical limits, I do have a lot of experience in and around the cycling industry, and I've sold, repaired, installed, and used several traditional bike racks like this over the years. And what I can say is that the Old Man Mountain Rack is, by a large margin, the biggest leap in innovation for this type of rack that I've seen in over two decades, both as a consumer as well as a shop employee. And so what I will say about this rack is that you certainly don't need to be a hardcore bike tour to appreciate its strength and versatility, and it'll serve you really well even if you only plan to use it for your daily commute or some weekend warrior touring. And while the steep price point is definitely something to consider, you have to keep in mind that this represents a premium product and I certainly think there's value in investing in a rack system like this as it'll easily transfer from bike to bike over the years with virtually no compatibility issues. Now, the way I see it, this could very well be the first and last rack you ever need to buy, especially since it comes with a lifetime warranty. Now, for me, unfortunately, bike commuting is presently just not feasible and bike tours, even short ones, are few and far between. The reality is that life right now is just too busy with the recent move into a new house, raising two little kids, and holding down a full-time job, but that hasn't stopped me from getting some good use out of the rack in the meantime. And the Old Man Mountain Divide Rack certainly hasn't let me down yet. It was super easy to set up, and basically a set it and forget it solution, which has given me absolute confidence that it'll be able to carry anything that I have the legs for. Now, of course, I'll continue to fantasize over planning days-long touring adventures, but in the meantime, I'm all about being creative with how I intertwine my hobbies and activities, and a rack system like this definitely makes it easier to do. For instance, in what may be the worst way to showcase the strength and utility of the Old Man Mountain Divide Rack, I present to you perhaps the first documented instance of Hockey by Bike. Once again, I want to thank Old Man Mountain for providing a rack system to the channel to check out. It's clearly in its own category when it comes to bike racks and certainly represents a top shelf product. Now, if you're looking for a rack system with ultimate strength and versatility for your bike adventures, I think you'd be hard pressed to find a better option despite the somewhat hefty price tag. But then again, if you're serious about adventuring by bike and prefer not to cut corners with your gear, then it may very well be a good option for you. All right, well, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching, and thanks again for subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.